students, uh, people who think about doing this course often wonder what the student experience is like. So we've got two students who are halfway through the course here who are going to uh, have a little chat with me about how this course pans out and what it feels like. So we've got Benedict and Juliet, and you're halfway through. So can you sort of talk first a little bit about what you thought you were going to get from this course and why you chose to do it? To yeah, I, I first got interested in it because I'd, I'd been doing some work with someone with a hypnotherapist you know, as a client and, and uh, it, made me, it made me curious and went to, I think it was a, the Conscious Medicine, mm -hmm. it was like a one weekend workshop and you know, you know I just got more and more fascinated, I wanted to find out more mm. uh, and uh, it was just a gut feeling thing I think, I didn't decide until maybe like a month or so beforehand and it, it also happened for me at the time when I was, uh, I knew I was coming to the end of one job mm. and having some time to decide what to do next and yeah, I just felt like the right thing to do, and I haven't regretted it. Good. <laughs> Julia? Um, what were you here? Well, I did the Human Givens Diploma in mm -hmm. um, 2012, and although the training was brilliant, and I loved it all, I just afterwards felt that I hadn't had enough um, experience in actually doing clients and seeing clients mm -hmm. and getting all that practice in, so I was struggling a bit, really, to... I just felt I was kind of, mm. yeah, floundering a bit. Although I had all the theory side of it mm. quite good. I just, um, so yeah, I suppose I was looking around for other courses and I thought about doing some NLP, almost signed up for it, and then I found this um, through the Uncommon Knowledge yes. site because Mark Tyrrell is Simon, sorry, Mark Tyrrell is Ivan Tyrrell's son. That's right. Yeah. Yes, so I already knew about the Uncommon Knowledge, but I hadn't really sort of looked at it much. Mm. So I found out about this course called Jill and when I found out that there were the live client sessions when you're doing practice with mm. real people, a whole session supervised, then you get feedback, I thought that's exactly what I need. <laughs> <laughs> You've just survived so, one of those. So, yeah, yes. <laughs> so yeah, that aspect of it has been absolutely brilliant <coughs> and it's really uh, the whole course, actually, everything we've done, because it's reinforced what I've learned before yeah. when I've learned some new hypnosis techniques, which I didn't know before. Yeah. So it's, um, Jill asked me at the beginning, what did I want from the course? And I said, I want to be competent and competent therapist, and Wonderful. I feel I'm getting there now. Fantastic. So, so halfway, th halfway through, um, yeah. just a, uh, a couple of words on just the experience of, of, of being uh, with inside training and doing the, the training. Yeah, well, as Juliet was just saying, I think one of the best things about it is that it's it's so practical, mm. um, and you know, really prepares you or wants to prepare people to to, to be confident and uh, yeah, confident and, and, and confident exactly yes. both of those um, therapists when they when they when they move on or step you know, step out of the course at the end and um, the first. The first uh, three, four months, it's like an enormous amount of information to take in and to absorb like a sponge. And you know, it's the, I think the Jill and the other trainers and the mentors are really, really great at saying, yeah, you know, bear sure with this. This is yes. exactly this is what everybody goes through, yes. and it is a lot to take on. But that will be reinforcing it. And and I think one of the, one of the things I like about it most is that there's so many different ways in which you learn. So you've got you have these thought weekends mm -hmm. once a month. Mm -hmm. Then you've got an assignment in between that you know, helps you to yes. to work through that material again. Stuff, yes. uh, call with a mentor, mm -hmm. a teleconference along the way. Then you know once we get to month four and assessed assessed uh, mm -hmm. session first with another student, then you get great feedback on that, mm -hmm. your own reflection on it. So there's there's loads of ways in which everybody learns in different ways, yes. and so there's things that appeal to everyone. Mm -hmm. And now uh, I really feel like you know the first four months are. You're learning to shift the gear and what to do with the brake and with that, and, uh, yes. <laughs> and it's slowly moving on from yeah. being able to move the car to uh, driving and, yes, and, and, and enjoying <laughs> driving a bit more along the way. So it's, yeah, it's a great, great experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you kind of covered that and what you were saying there, that actually when you were talking that yeah. you had yeah, yeah, experienced all that. Yeah. And the actual the course weekends as well, it's a good mixture of lecture content yes. and um, practical, mm -hmm. experiential yeah. stuff, so yeah. exercises and some, I mean, a lot of it's really good fun as well, yeah. it's not more serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So we have a laugh. Absolutely, best way to learn, yeah. to play. I don't yeah. actually yeah. think I've ever been on a course that's, that's been that well sorted in terms of the you know, supporting the learning yeah. mm -hmm. with, yeah. that, with that real balance of, yeah. of yeah. the different ways of learning and support mm -hmm. for it. Good. Yeah. That's the other thing, yeah, that's the, the mental thing is really mm -hmm. good that you yeah. have 
a mentor throughout, and I think for two months afterwards as well. Mm -hmm. Do you finish? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that yes, yes. got that support. Absolutely, when you get started. Yeah. Yes, yes. And I think, and, and also, as Benedict was saying about the assignment, having to do those assignments in a key cog book and write mm. up yeah. what you've been doing, it's just made me so much more focused. On yeah. And makes you realise what you've learned, you know, that you're yeah. 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 It makes you much more uh, a, a sort of awareness there about how you're learning and what you're learning. Yeah, yeah constantly yes. reflecting on it as you go, even. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. It's great. So, just briefly, something that you can do now that you really had no idea you'd be able to do before you started this course that you've Mm. A skill, you know, skills that you've acquired at this half, halfway stage. If you go to the end. <laughs> um, well, I've done a smoking addiction today, oh, which right. I've never done before. Yeah. I think that went quite well. That was um, in terms of using the metaphors that Lovely. we were taught yeah. a couple of months ago and rereading Mark's stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was able to put that in. And I've done a few other addictions and phobias and things. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. sugar addiction I did with a friend a couple of weeks ago that went mm. quite well. So you could so really see people from all kinds of yeah, constraints. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, just getting better at it really mm. and just feeling more um, more in control of my sessions mm. and knowing where they're going and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, I would agree with that. Like you say, you know, it's it's a really great feeling to to um, Truly, of course, understand what the sorts of things are that might sometimes hold people back, or mm. uh, and 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 also how you can, in an effective way, help that stuff they no longer need to, you yeah, know, to, to, to help them let go of that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, which is fantastic, and then and in lots of you know different small ways. So you, I, I find myself using uh, some other techniques and what I've learned at home. Mm -hmm. it, could, it could be just about a simple just. Knowing how to relax when you're feeling a bit anxious about something. It doesn't have to be a big thing. Um, uh, and to, as we get more more confident and, and learn more things, you know, people with some, some bigger issues that may have been, maybe have been having a bit of a negative effect and aftertaste for, for years and years, and, and then you find you can, you know, with some techniques, we really quite quickly make a big difference. Uh, and that's, that's very satisfying, you know. It's, um, it's getting clearer, clearer for me as we as we do the course. I didn't have a clear idea beforehand exactly mm. what I was going to do with it, but it, I'm enjoying it so much. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. I, I don't know precisely yet, but no, no. I know I'll be. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention the, the solution focused language mm. as well. Yeah. Yes. questions because we did learn that on the beginners training, but mm. it takes a lot of practice and time to sort of yeah. really learn it. Yeah. And I've got to the mm. point now where I able to use it in yes. sort of yeah. everyday conversations. It's wonderful. wonderful. And on ourselves. Yeah. yeah. That's the other thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's such yeah. yourself getting into negative patterns. Yeah. Being able to it's such mm. brilliant. Yeah. 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 Two track thing you're doing because mm. you're learning about how to work with clients at the same time. So I think, oh, what does that mean for me? You know, yes. mm. the same as anybody else. Walk the talk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So it's got lots of benefits that yeah. way too. Yeah. It's a personal journey as, as much as anything Absolutely. else. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much, both of you. That's Thank you. Very nice of you to come and talk to us today. I hope that's helped you to uh, make up your mind as to whether you're going to come and do the With Insight training.